top six best rice cookers of 2024. Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best rice cookers in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. And like, comment, share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number six, Sojirushi NSTSC 10 rice cooker. For my whole adult life, I've cooked rice in a pot on the stove. There's something satisfying about honing that skill, but even with age and wisdom, the grains don't turn out right every time. A few months ago, however, I got my hands on this Zojirushi to test, and since then, my rice has been evenly tender and fluffy every time. My biggest disclaimer, this appliance is big, but if you have this space, it really does live up to the hype. The settings are displayed on a small screen at the front, and if you're unsure about your water to rice ratio, the brand has this helpful guide. The first time I cooked basmati in it, I did a quick check to make sure I was filling it with the proper amount of liquid. I've also used the included basket to steam greens, and as Carl Lally Music taught me, perfect potatoes. When all is said and done, both the steamer and the inside bowl are a breeze to clean. You pluck them out and any residue rinses right off. But don't just take it from me. In my reporting, Zonjirushi came up more than any other brand. They have a fancier model with even more settings that multiple experts mentioned. You can read about that one further down on the list. But this one, especially given that it's less than half the price of the other, makes for an all-around great buy. Food writer and recipe developer Kira wright Ruiz had to leave hers behind when she recently moved out of the country and told me it's the thing she misses the most. I'm sure people have said this before, but it really is the Lamborghini of rice cookers, she says. The standout reason is what Zojirushi calls fuzzy technology, or a built-in microcomputer that can sense how your rice is cooking and adjust the time and temperature to get a perfect result if need be. Finally, though perhaps not the most imperative to the rice itself, Sojirushi's machines play music when you start them, an adaptation of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Number 5. Panasonic SRDF 101 Rice Cooker the Panasonic is another simple model, the one that food photographer Neil Santos has also used for a decade, both personally and at his Philly-based Filipino pop-up, Lalo, which unfortunately closed due to the pandemic. I'm a high-tech kind of person, and this only has a few settings. That's what I grew up with in a Filipino household, he says. It can be on all the time and stay warm. It has a little basket that can steam veggies over the rice. Sometimes I'll use it for other dishes as well. The Philippines has a lot of rice desserts, like sumen, which is sticky rice wrapped in banana leaf. I put the sumen in there and let it stay warm. That's how we used it at the restaurant. We were in a food hall, so everything was small, and this was an efficient way to do things. Number four, Aroma Air C914 SBD Digital Rice Cooker. For a particularly low-key model that gets the job done, Chef Justin Lee turns to his Aroma Digital Rice Cooker. For home use, I think it's cheap and simple. One is really all you need, he says. Overall, it's just easier than using a pot or at least you don't have to watch it as much. It gets the job done totally fine. And sure, there's something about the way the Zojirushi is constructed that makes it superior. But at the end of the day, we're not making sushi rice. This is just us cooking rice at home so we can feed ourselves and our family. For that, he maintains, it's perfect. In my own testing, I found the simplicity of the machine wasn't only good enough, but a plus. While I do appreciate the more targeted settings of the Zojirushi, this one was more intuitive to use initially with only a few very clear settings. Each time, it has yielded fluffy, perfectly cooked grains, no matter if I'm making long grain white, short grain white, or brown rice. The keep warm setting works well too. Once, I let a batch sit for a full hour before I ate, and it was still moist but not overcooked. Recipe developer and cookbook author Abby Bolingen expresses a similar sentiment. It's very straightforward to use. She says, basically dummy proof. The cost was also part of the initial appeal, Bowling it says, but she's been using hers for five years with consistent results every time. She also appreciates the compact size that fits in a small space above her kitchen cabinets. Still, I'll note, it fits plenty. I made rice in it for a dinner party of five people and had leftovers. Number three, Tatan Rice Cooker. Food writer Kathy Irway explains that her rice cooker, ubiquitous in Taiwan, works like an electric steamer. Instead of mixing rice and water directly together, the tatum heats water in a larger compartment around the bowl that holds the rice. This generates steam and helps the individual grains cook super evenly. But it also means that you can steam other foods like eggs or broccoli without boiling them. Irway says whether that's on a tray set on top of the rice or without any rice at all. She also appreciates the simple functionality. I don't need a ton of buttons to do this thing or that thing, she says. After the first time or two making rice, you know exactly how long it takes. Number two, 
a Musa electric nonstick rice cooker. Recipe developer and writer Justine Doran loves her rice cooker because of its simplicity and reliability. She first bought it about eight years ago at Target because it was the cheapest one she could find. Despite the notably low price, the machine has proven to be incredibly durable and has never done me wrong, she says. The Amusa comes with a measuring cup and instructions on how much water to add, depending on what variety of rice you're making. Other than that, it operates with a single cook button and a setting to keep food warm if you want. When a cooking appliance is only meant for one use, you don't need the fanciest model, Doran says. Number one, Pars Automatic Persian Rice Cooker. The Pars Persian Rice Cooker is built to do something different from all the others on this list. Make totting, a ubiquitous crispy layer of rice at the bottom and top when you turn it over of many preparations of Persian rice dishes. I'm an Avon home cook, but rice was always tough for me. And that's part of why for a while I avoided cooking a lot of Persian food, says writer Aria Roshanian, who chronicled this for it into using the Pars for Vox last year. Funny enough, his mom and grandmother both used one, and it was during the pandemic that he finally decided it was time to get one himself. In fact, he has two now, a smaller four cup he started out with and a larger seven cup he uses to make totting for a crowd. It's user-friendly, he says, something that my 85-year-old grandma, who only speaks Farsi and isn't that good at technology, can figure out. The first time I used it, I was thinking I would need to try a few times in order to get it right, but it came out pretty perfectly. And then each subsequent time, too. Roshanian also likes that the insert is lightweight and nonstick, so it's super easy to flip out and clean. This is the top six best rice cookers in 2024. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.